beautiful people welcome back to another video hope you're doing great thank you so much guys for coming back compliment of the season my name is Cynthia if you're here for the first time you're welcome to the family in today's video I'm going to be showing us how to make this shoulder cup corset so we'll be using two different fabric these are the items we need for this tutorial so this is two yards of uh, fabric 16 inches by length so this is half yards of satin. You can use any fabric of your choice. I have my zipper here. So I'll be using this to design the under bust line. So I have my pattern paper, my ruler and the marker. I'll be drafting it on the paper then transfer it to the fabric. So let's get started. As you can see, I've marked out some lines here. So this is the back side and this is the front side. I don't want this video to prolong so I'll be cutting out the front and the back together. I suppose to cut out the half length first before cutting out the lower part but I'll be cutting them together then later on I will cut the half length out. So let's go ahead as you can see I've marked out some lines here. So this line here is zipper allowance 1.5 inches. That is why the back is uh, bigger than the front. This is my post line, 10 and a half inches. The under bust is 14 inches. The waist line is 17 and a half inches. The hip is 25 inches. The knee length is 35 and a half inches. And this is the full length, 43 inches. So let's go ahead and uh, place the measurements. So I've already marked out the vertical lines. What we are going to do is to place the circumference measurement. So I will first mark the shoulder measurements. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. So I'll mark my 8 inches here. I will come down by 1 inch right from this 8 inches. That's my shoulder slope. So from shoulder slope here, I will mark half of the round armhole measurement. So the armhole measurement is 17 inches divided by 2 is 8 and a half inches. So I'll mark 8 and a half inches here. This is now the chest line. I'll still mark the shoulder measurement here. I'll make a straight line here. This is now the chest line. Right on this chest line, now we'll place a quarter of the bust measurement. The bust measurement is 43 inches divided by 4 is 10.5 inches. I'll make a line here. So I will look for the midpoint of this arm core measurement. The midpoint is 4 and a quarter and connect it to the bust measurement. I will come inside by half inch right from the midpoint here. This is the front arm hole. I will connect it like so. This is the post line. I will still mark 10 and a half inches here, a quarter of the post measurement. I will go to the under post measurement and place a quarter of the waist measurement here the waist measurement is 38 inches divided by 4 is nine and a half inches so i'll mark nine and a half inches here i will go to the waistline and mark nine and a half inches that's a quarter of the waist measurement and i will add one inch for that so i will mark a quarter of the hip measurement right on the hip line here a quarter of the hip measurement is 11 and a half inches So we go to the knee measurement, minus one inches from the hip and place it here. So this is 11 and a half inches. I will mark 10 and a half inches right on the knee measurement. So I will still mark 10 and a half inches here, the bottom part. So I will go ahead and connect the lines. I will connect it from the chest to the waist. From the waistline, I will connect it to the hip line. 
So from the hip, take it to the knee and bring it to the length. So I will go ahead and then cut this stamp part. So I will cut this side out, then concentrate on the half length. This is the waistline, I'm cutting it out. So I will cut this side out. I will set this aside. So I will impute the dart measurement. The bust palm is 8 inches divided by 2 is 4 inches plus half inch sewing allowance. That's 4.5 inches. So I will go to the bust line, come down by 1 inch. And still mark this 4.5 inches here, the bust palm. I will make a straight line here. So I will mark half inch on each side. I will connect it like so. I will still mark the back part. I will make a notch here for the back part. Sorry, I forget to mention this. Remember to add your sewing allowance here before cutting it out. Is either you add your sewing allowance or you add your sewing allowance while transferring the pattern to the fabric. I will add 1.5 inches for sewing allowance while cutting out the fabric. So I will just add the sewing allowance here. So this is the upper part. I will still add 1.5 inches here for sewing allowance all the way to the damp part. You can add your sewing allowance while transferring it. You can also add it now. So for the upper part, I will add the sewing allowance to it. And connect it like so. So I will separate the front from the back side. So this is the front and this is the back. And I will still mark the back that measurement. I made a notch here. I will take it all the way to the chest line. I will mark half inch here and half inch here. So I will take 3.5 inches for the wideness of the neck. Then mark 6 inches for the neck depth. So I'll mark it here. So before I curve the neckline, it's right on the neckline here, I will go inside by 0 0.5 or 0 0.7. So you mark the quarter inches here or half inch. So this half inch or 0 0.75 inches is the gap between the two busts. So I'll mark it here. I will go to the under bust measurement and still mark the same thing, three quarter of an inch here. I will connect it to the under bust measurement. So I will now go ahead and mark the neck depth, the V neckline. So I mark it up to here. If I'm cutting it out, I will cut it like so. So that is the front neckline. I will mark the back neckline also. So this is my zip allowance. Right from the zip allowance, I will mark 3.5 inches for the wideness of the neck. So I will mark 7 inches for the back depth. I want the back to be deeper than the front. I will go ahead and connect it. Like so. Let me finish up with the back side and concentrate on the front part. So this is the back side. So we go back to the front part. 
I will go to the boss line here, make a curve, connect it to the under bust measurement. Like so. Just from here to the under bust, you will curve it. And then you go to the bust line here and connect it also to this under bust measurement. I will go ahead and uh, cut it out. I will cut the neckline. I will cut it up to here. Then cut this side. I cut it like so. I will close the dart. I will use the selective to close the dart. Yes, so I will set this aside. So I will cut out this dart also. You know there is a gather here. So in order to achieve that gather, we are going to be making a slash and spread method so we go to the shoulder here and look for the midpoint i have four and a half inches here so this is the midpoint so we slash it all the way to this part you can slash it like so from the shoulder you can just slash it like so you can slash it just once just right on this point you can make four or three slash or you make one I will try one first to see how wide it's going to look so I'm trying one I will just connect it right from this midpoint here you don't cut it all through so what I'm going to do to spread it up like so I would like to make about six inches spread all right, yeah, that's okay. If you want the gather to be much, you just make it wide. If you don't want it much, you just bring it, just do it to your taste, make it to your taste. So what we are going to do is to transfer the pattern to the fabric, all the pattern, we're going to be transferring them to the fabric. I will start with this damp part. I'll spread my fabric into it too on the table. I want the front part to be on the folded edge. I will place it like so. Don't forget to add your sewing allowance to it. Remember I did not add sewing allowance to the damp part. I will add my sewing allowance. The back is also folded into it too. So I will split this side open because this is where I'm going to insert my zip. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I will add 1.5 inches sewing allowance here and 1.5 inches sewing allowance on the other side I will also add half inch here to join it to the upper part so this is my sewing allowance So this is my sewing allowance. I will go ahead and cut the back half length. I will be adding lining to the back side. I will still fold it into two. So I have added the sewing allowance on this side. So I will add half in sewing allowance here to join it to the thumb part. I will cut out the lining also. So it's time to transfer the front pattern to the fabric. So this is the, the front one. I will open it up like so. 
I will open six or seven inches. All right. Connect it like so. I will add half in swing allowance to the side. Same here, I will still add swing allowance here. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'm using the same fabric for the lining. I've cut out two. I will still cut out the lining. All this remaining is this side. I will still fold my fabric into two. So this is folded into two. So I have my folded edge here. You don't need to split this part into two. And we add half inch here. We still add half inch here. So we are done with the cutting. So we'll be cutting out the sleeves. So I'll be cutting out the sleeve. The sleeve full length is 24 inches. I'll be adding a very long band here. I'll be adding 6 inches band to the lower part. So 24 minus 6 is uh, 18 inches. So I'll be cutting out 18 inches for the upper part. I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance. That is my 18 inches. If you look at the one in the picture very well, you notice there's a gather the upper part. So this sleeve cap here, I'll be adding about three to four inches to it to make a little gather here. I'll add 8.5 inches. That's the half of the round armhole measurement. I'll add about four inches to it for the gather. So the round sleeve here is a uh, 10 inches divided by two is five inch plus one is sewing allowance. That's six inches. I'll just make a curve here, like right, so, and bring it to this six inches. Let me see if there's a gather here. Yeah, I'll be adding to it. Yeah, there's a gather here also. I'll still adding about four inches here. Cutting out two of this. So I'll be cutting out six inches band. So I'll fold it into two. So I'm adding one inch for sewing allowance. The damp part is six inches. So I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. So I'll fold it like so also. So the round sleeve here where I'll be joining it is five inches. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. That is six inches. The round sleeve for the damp part is 8 inches. Divided into 2 is 4 plus 1 is 2 and 11. That is 5 inches. Take it up. So that's it for the cutting. So guys, we are done with the cutting. We'll go ahead and put the fabric together. So I cut out two of these. I'll be using the same fabric for the lining. The half length for the back side, I cut out the lining as well. This is the lining for this side. So what you're going to do is to use the lining to turn the neckline. I will open it up like so. I will take one of these, place it like so, right side facing right side. And do the same thing for this side. So I'll just go ahead and use the lining to turn the neckline. I will still use the lining to turn the back. So right side facing right side. So I will sew it here. Here. I will turn it right from here. I will do the same thing for this side. So guys, I finished using the lining to turn the neckline. So this is the back side. I've turned it inside out. What I'm going to do is to take my dart measurement and stitch it up to the chest line here. 
so this is the front part so I'll flip it to the right side so I will stitch it around here just to keep the fabric in place so I'll stitch it around all you're going to do next is to attach this to this part I'll be using the lining to turn it after attaching this to this side so what we are going to do is to place this here and then place this here so I'll leave about half inch here this center part then turn it like so I will start stitching it right after the half inch or a quarter of an inch so I will stitch it up to here and then gather this part it, as you stitch it you gather it and make sure it fits in this place I will do the same thing for this side so I finish um, adding the gather to this part and then this is the half inch I left unsewed so I will use the lining to turn it I will place this like so so I will stitch it like so it's half inch that's the half inch I left unsewed then turn it like so turn it like so use it to cover up here use half inch to join it around you do the same thing for this side I will also gather the sleeves I will gather this upper part gather this up to the the round sleeve here so guys I finished sewing the lining I will turn it inside out so the wrong side and this is the right side so I will stitch this side down just to keep the fabric in place I will also gather the sleeve I have attached the pants to it I use half inch to join them here so I will use one inch to join it together here I will go ahead and attach the upper part to the down part so I will not be adding that to the down part so we will go ahead and then join them together with half inch I will use half inch to join them together I will do the same thing for the back side after I've done that I will attach the zip to the back side so this is the back side I've attached the zip to it and I left about a uh, five inches slit on the back so what we are going to do is to join the front and the back together I will design the under post with this I will place this on this side I will stitch it on it before joining the side together so we will go ahead and join the front and the back together to make sure right side are facing each other I will use half inch to join the shoulders and then place the measurement here so I will place the post measurement here divide it by 2 so I will mark 21 inches here I will go to the waistline and then mark 19 inches here do the same thing for the hip side and then stitch it all the way to the bottom so guys, I finished uh, joining the front and the back together. I've also attached the design. So what we are going to do is to attach the sleeves to the dress. I will turn the dress to the wrong side. This is the right side of the sleeve. I will tuck it inside. Match the side seam together. I will use half inch to join them together. I will do the same thing for the other sleeve. So guys, I finished attaching the sleeves to the dress. The dress is very beautiful. 
This is the bottom part. So that's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Love you all. Bye.